The Pantheon in Rome has stood for nearly 2,000 years, untouched by time. Modern concrete, by comparison, begins to crumble after just a few decades. So what secret did the Romans know that we've forgotten? From the Colosseum to aqueducts still standing today, Roman engineering defied erosion, earthquakes, and centuries of rain. Meanwhile, the world spends trillions repairing modern concrete every year. Their advantage? A formula both mysterious and brilliant, perfected long before modern chemistry existed. At the heart of it was a volcanic gift from Italy's own soil. Roman builders mixed volcanic ash, known as Pozzolana, with lime and seawater. This ash, found near Naples and Pozzuoli, triggered a rare chemical reaction. It formed calcium aluminum silicate hydrate, a crystal structure that actually grew stronger over time. Unlike modern cement, energy-intensive and short-lived, Roman concrete bonded naturally with its environment, even underwater. For centuries, the secret seemed lost, until scientists from MIT and the University of Utah made a breakthrough. They found tiny white fragments called lime clasts inside Roman concrete. When cracks formed and water seeped in, those lime clasts reacted, resealing the gaps. In other words, Roman concrete healed itself. But ingredients weren't the only secret. Roman engineers tailored each mix to its environment, different recipes for harbors, domes, or roads. They built with patience and precision, while today's mass production often ignores local climate and chemistry. Their success came not from speed, but from understanding. Now researchers are racing to revive this lost formula, hoping to build cities that last centuries, not years. Because Rome's real genius wasn't just in its monuments, it was in its mindset. Sometimes the most advanced technology isn't new, it's ancient.